Hey everybody, Ojama Garrett's here. Uh, with another video, another little discussion, another little tip, set of tips, a little tutorial, a little how to, a little uh, life boost, a little life coaching, a little, a little something for you. And that is to just get good at something. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. I think that you should get good at something. Most people play video games. I play video games. And whether it be a hobby or a sport or whatever you like doing, you should just fixate on it. Who cares if your parents say, hey, who can make that into a job or something along the lines of that? It doesn't matter. I, I believe fully that everything you do requires like to ascend to another level and that whatever you're doing will require you to develop skills to take you from what you are, which is not good enough to achieve a goal you've set for yourself in that thing. And then mold you and break you down to become, then, you know, shed some, uh, shed some, sacrifice some things so that you can now ascend into this new level and that goal. And then in doing so, whether it be virtually or in a controlled environment or through games or through writing or whatever you're doing, if you just constantly progress in that thing and try to get better at it, you will develop skills and all skills have marketable value. Value, Sorry. So for instance, my personal anecdote here is to, uh, old school RuneScape. Uh, I was, I, I'm obsessed with this game. I've been playing this game since I've been in fourth grade. So about 23, 24 years I have been playing RuneScape. Um, not necessarily playing nonstop. It's, uh, if you know anything about old school RuneScape is sometimes you take breaks, but I have, I don't think I've gone more than a week in my life without thinking about the game at least. And, um, thinking about what I'm going to do next or how I'm going to get to that next goal, that next cash, that next max cash stack, that next max account, that next quest cape, that next thing. So the skills I've developed from the projects I take on, like for instance, I'll just say it. Uh, I, I am a um, multi, I play on as many accounts as I can. So I, I do trading on the game and I, I've built um, a little over 750 accounts. Uh, and I use them all to trade on a thing called the Grand Exchange, which is just a, it requires an extreme amount of effort. Uh, it re required me to take excessive notes and then really optimize my system to really get good at optimizing systems for me to like cut the uh, time to sale, I'll call it, or something like that, to cut down the production time of each account to get it. And I've, I've taken it down quite, quite considerably so. Uh, but I'm pretty burnt out for that, but still, uh, I discovered in doing that, that I love optimization and I love systematizing and I love scaling. And those are real skills. And I did get them from RuneScape and they were just in there right in front of my face playing like, and I didn't even realize that I was playing it the whole time. Essentially, Jagex, the company that developed RuneScape convinced me that having a job is really fun. And I guarantee that in anything you're doing, anything, I, I would be hard pressed to find an example that requires you to do the things I outlined before that wouldn't have a marketable skill that would be in a way uh, allowing for you to exchange your skills for value in return, um, like a job, you know, it, whether it be you just standing out at like Walmart uh, to, to, you're not just an entry level employee, but now you just kind of shift into a department manager, like say with systematizing or whatever, this optimization stuff like that. I'm sure that would translate great there, but, uh, oh yeah. So I'd be like how that translated for me personally is like, now that I'm a, I am a machine operator at a cheese factory and I hated the job, but as I really got into it, dove into it, now I'm, I'm almost three years on the job of doing that. And I've just broken down my machine and each of the machines that I have to run uh, into segments and have optimized every little thing that I could understand. And now, not to brag, I guess I would need to show some facts here. I'd have to show some uh, some receipts for this, but at least for the past few weeks, I've been outperforming my entire plant uh, in terms of OEE, overall equipment efficiency. And I have been trending consistently up while everybody else has been really all over the place. But that is neither here nor there. I just want to check my notes to make sure I got anything. I didn't miss anything here since I have another five minutes. But yeah, that would be it for this quick tip. I just want to reiterate, just, just pick something, get after it, just 
grind, 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 get it done, get it done, get it done. Stop wasting time. Just or, or keep wasting time. Do whatever you're doing. But I mean, like if you have goals, you have aspirations, and you you have no, no, you don't know what to do. If you don't know what to do, do something. Just do something. Pick one thing, one thing you love, one thing you're good at, and just do it. Make it, you know, write write it down every single day. Start a little list that you're gonna do it every day, and then you're gonna like take wherever you're at and just uh, go to the next level. Go to the next, ascend to the next level. And if you just do that and become like the best at whatever you're doing, not even the best, but if you just become like a version of yourself doing that thing that you never imagined could be uh, possible, then I feel like that's going to illuminate a lot more opportunities for you in your life. Uh, I believe that fully, and I hope this helps somebody. And I appreciate you guys if you stayed this in, uh, stayed this far into the video. Hope you got some value out of it. I hope you have a really great day. Get after it. Peace out. Have a nice day.